Tasset, and welcome to the Gems of War, Campaign 18, Week 4, Day 7. So, today, uh, we are uh, going to be going over all the weekly spoilers, finishing up the Vault event, which, honestly, we're pretty much starting at almost finished. Uh, I think we already have to run one Palooza, and we're already there, so uh, we'll get a crack on that. And aside from that, um, yeah, just kind of finishing out all the things. Uh, we have a really good adventure board today. Uh, go for things like that, and uh, yeah, we'll just wrap everything up. Uh, for the week. Uh, before we do though, <clears throat> let's go over all the weekly stuff. I don't actually have them open yet, but I uh, won't take that long to go and find them. Uh, we have the Lion in Chief event, where we get this guy, the Lion Commander. Is he the only one? Uh, no. Wait. Well, what mode do we have next week? Okay, that would be Invasion then. Oh, no, no, that would be uh, Raids then, I mean. So we'll need this guy for the Raid Slayer, so we will have to use him for Raids. Uh, and he'll just one-shot the boss, pretty much. He deals a bunch of damage to an enemy, boosted by... All ally armor. Oh, wow. What boost ratio is that? Oh, this guy's just gonna absolutely... Ab oh, it's only 4 to 1. Well, it's all ally armor, though. So it's basically a 1 to 1. For this event, he's absurdly good. Outside of this event, he's never gonna get usage. Though, interestingly enough, uh, he actually gets better boost ratio for being shiny. Um, That's interesting. But that's still not gonna make him viable outside this mode. Uh, especially when you compare it to things like Tesla's boost ratio. Uh, which makes him look like he does nothing. <laughs> because we compare him to Tesla real quick. Let's even just give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's say he's shiny level 2. And he has a 3 to 1. Based on all ally armor. And only hits one target with it. Uh, Tesla is also 3 to 1. But his true damage hits everything. And not just ally armor, but also all enemy armor. So the other guy needs to be shiny to even do one, like half of what Tesla does. And even then, it's like half of that. So to be able to do like one-fourth of what Tesla does, he has to be shiny level 2. So while that will be really good for this event as far as killing the raid boss, uh, outside of it, he is absolutely nothing compared to Tesla. Especially when he's not upgraded at all. But even when he is, he he's just absurdly weaker Tesla. And oddly enough, the same color as Tesla, blue-red. Anyways, uh, next we have ourselves the uh, troop that's coming in through Glory, uh, which is this guy over here. Uh, he ends up exploding a gem boosted by Leonis Empire allies. Gosh, how many times do I have to go to this website? At a one-to-one. -one. So that means by default he'll do at least two explodes, and at maximum he'll do up to five explodes. For ten mana costs, that is pretty pointless. Um, he doesn't seem to have any other follow-up, which is kind of weird. So this is just a mana accumulator that you're never really going to use, unless Leonis Empire really doesn't have any mana accumulators. I'm not sure. I forget what the current mana accumulation situation is for Leonis Empire. But that's pretty sad if that's our best option, because that is not good. <laughs> In best case scenario, you're you're exploding five gems, which if we don't have a better option, you know, that's better than nothing. But five gems is not good. <laughs> Anyways, next we have Lion's Reach. This is the weapon we'll get uh, from buying, what, tier three for raids? Uh, 14 mana costs. It looks like it's a standard explodey weapon. Explodes a bunch of blue gems, grants a random status effect to all Leonis Empire allies, then summons a Leonis Empire ally. So very straightforward, just explodey weapon as we normally would have. Uh, aside from that, other things that we have going on this week, uh, let's go to the main page. Uh, this is a pretty tame week. Uh, I would say the biggest thing that we have going on this week, uh, actually related to our channel, is this Tuesday is the eight-year anniversary of this channel. So that'll be fun. Uh, we'll do a bit of a mega stream when we do it uh, that night. Uh, do a bunch of things we normally wouldn't do. Spend a billion and a half resources. We're going to be spending a ton of things. We're going to max out every weapon. We're going to upgrade at least 69 mythics uh, to max gold elite level and uh, a few other things. Anyways, uh, so, under Spire, pretty standard. We just have it for Leonis Empire. Uh, might have to use that Man Accumulator if we don't have better options. Raid Boss, we already just went over the guy. He should be able to one-shot uh, pretty deep due to his 4-to-1 uh, uh, or 3-to-1 boost ratio, depending on how upgraded you have him. Should be a pretty free raid, uh, as are most of them. Uh, Guild War... We do not have Guild War tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> Guild Wars, why are you showing up here? But uh, we do not have Guild Wars tomorrow. Uh, faction, uh, standards, Velonis Empire, City of Thieves. Really good farming one, by the way. Uh, great to go into, unless you're keeping it deliberately at level 20. Uh, Pet Rescue, I believe this is a repeat pet we've already had. Uh, however, this is the one that gives you more map turns. So if you're lucky to do treasure maps a little bit better and don't have this max yet, uh, it's actually pretty good for doing maps. There just isn't much of a situation where you would do maps, but this might be the last time where you can use it like this before Treasure Hunt gets uh, buffed. Who knows? Uh, as far as easily being able to attain it. I don't know, we'll have to see into the future. But anyways, 
Uh, class event is obviously just for the standard Leonis Empire War Priest. Pretty underwhelming. I believe this is the one with stun, but for whatever reason, there's way too low of a stun rate. Uh, if you compare it to something like Elemental, so basically a 0% stun compared to Elementals, which uh, does absurdly a high amount. And this Friday, we have a pretty standard uh, Bounty Hunter coming in with a new troop, which uh, might as well go peek at that troop patcher. Uh, can we see it from here? It'll be easier to go the other way. Uh, let's take a peek at the troop. So, a uh, new troop that we're getting. It deals magic plus three damage to an enemy, uh, then burn all enemies below them. That's not awful for something like this mode. Uh, just the current meta for the mode is basically true damage. And this doesn't do true damage. Create a red gem when its turn begins. I don't know. We, we're going to have to use this, but it's, it's not horrible. There just isn't much of a use case where you're going to build a four times team out of it other than this bounty hunter weekend. Uh, but beyond that, you're probably not going to be using it into the future. I don't know. Four times burn into a damage poke isn't bad for like the scale of bounty hunter. It just doesn't fit into skull meta or into, uh, more notably, true damage meta. Which are Rocky and everything else, so. Uh, well, not a horrible bounty hunter troop. Doesn't really have much of a use case, unfortunately, at the moment. But anyways, hello everyone! Hope you guys have been having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Let me start all the way from the top. Uh, and then we'll start getting into things. Uh, hello, yeah. Hello, Bill Warhammer. Hello, uh, Mark. Uh, hello, do -do 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 -do. hello, Chad. Uh, hello, uh, Fall. Uh, hello, Cookie. Hello, Allie. Hello, Stacy. Uh, hello, do -do 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 -do. hello, Supernova. Uh, hello, Lester. Hello, hello, everyone else. And okay, let's go and start doing things. So, also, hello, Sushi Ninja. Where should we start? Where should we start? Uh, oddly enough, one thing I'm going to start with, which might seem like a weird thing to do right at the beginning, I am going to crack open every EXP booster we have. Uh, this might seem weird, and we are going to lose some of this value. But it's mostly because at the end of this stream, I want to go click claim all on my vault keys. And I can't do that if we have a bunch of EXP boosters in the way. And since we're streaming for about an hour tonight, not counting uh, the intro that we just did. <laughs> um, yeah, so might as well get some value from it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't know, let's just start clearing out things. Diamond day? Oh, of course, no! This was for the three day perfect too. No! I was even considering doing these two and then going to that one. Oh, we ruined it. We ruined it. But yeah, this would have been the third day in a row for the first time ever if we got uh, a triple perfect. Because we got a perfect on Friday, we got a perfect on Saturday, but uh, we did not get it today, unfortunately. I was even thinking that the other day, too. I didn't end up mentioning it, but I was like, I should click just the two and three and skip the first one, because you know it's going to be a trap. And it was. Though if we actually would have picked the fifth one afterwards, it's within question. <laughs> Everyone else is not here yet. You know what I mean. I'm referring to the actual everyone else, not the person who renamed themselves to everyone else. Also, hello, Logic Slayer. Uh, your comment didn't go through. Oh, no, it didn't. What was your comment? Oh, you know why? I think I have top chat on right now. Let me switch it. What was your comment? I can't see it. Unless it really didn't go through. YouTube might be blocking it for some reason. There might be a word in it that YouTube doesn't like. So it might have auto-blocked the message. Because I don't have any extra sensors on other than what YouTube defaults to. Oh, did Lester... <laughs> is Lester trying to bribe uh, Genki now? To go play Orc Massage or something? That's pretty funny if so. Uh, Alright, what are we doing? We did that. Uh, oh yeah, uh, I was talking about Super Good Adventure Board today. Look at this. We get uh, 11 gem keys, 2 VIP keys, and 100 gems. That is some solid loot. One of the better ones we've seen in a very long time. Ah, Treasure Hunt's being buffed. Go tell another joke. <laughs> oh, no, I'm still holding out hope that Treasure Hunts will one day be viable. Or at least updated from their current state, even if not viable. 
Gosh, I got something stuck in my tooth from earlier. Oh, you know what that is? Because I was wondering, based on the color, I had grapes earlier. But I got, like, stuck in between my teeth when I had them earlier. Hey, verse 3, we need that one. Why is it every single day so far this weekend we've gotten verse 3s while just doing daily? Why can't I get these when I actually want to farm them? Oh, you did five, so she could add a new emoji? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, the, uh, there is... Uh, actually, I need to add, like, six more. With how many people are currently joined? I can almost double how many emojis I have right now. I just keep not doing it. I mean to go... I've been meaning to go, like, commission someone to go make icons or something similar. I just never know what to do for them. Like, whenever I get around to it, it's like, okay, what am I going to do for, like, all these emotes? And am I going to replace any of the old ones? Which I probably should. There are a few I kind of want to keep, like the soon TM and the hello. So I might, might want to like switch them up a little bit to clean up how they look graphically. That or make the hello into one single comment. Or, you know, one single emote. It'd be a bit smaller, but, you know, it'd still be readable. You're still waiting for the 69. <laughs> Mana surge. Mana surge. Mana surge. Have I streamed Gems of War since the start of this channel? Pretty much. Um... I would consider the official starting date of this channel um, April 23rd of eight years ago, because that's when I started doing stuff on a weekly basis. However, I didn't start streaming until a couple months after that. So the eight year anniversary of a streaming is like July or June or one of the J's. I can't remember which. But either June or July is actually the eight year mark of us streaming on a consistent basis. But us actually posting videos on a consistent basis is what I generally consider as the anniversary of the channel. It was when we started doing the weekly video every single week for eight years straight. Like the one that we're covering uh, tomorrow, or technically tonight. But, um, like that video is what we've been doing for eight years straight. And I kind of consider that the start of the channel. Even though I did like a few things before then and stuff like that. And streaming didn't start until like a few months later. Also because I couldn't really stream at the time. My internet wasn't good enough to stream when I first started the channel on a regular basis. But then a couple months later, I had better internet, so I could start streaming. But anyways, uh, what was I doing? We were doing something related to something. We're mostly just clearing out dailies right now. Uh, a bunch of skulls. Uh, I think we go to Underspire. We do have some PvP too. Someone actually took over my first place as well, I noticed earlier. Uh, not by much though. I guess we tried going and beating them. Because I should be pretty free. We're also likely not in the same bracket, so if I pass them, they're likely not going to pass me back. They're probably done with PvP. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to bother trying to earn all 4,000 right now, though. Especially since we don't really have a particularly good location to do so with. As in, no Blood Frenzy in a good location. That's fine. I had Jolgus to oh, just combine all three of the months. Genki promised to give me a new emote in the last live stream. Did she already send it to me on Discord? That'd be funny. But yeah, I need to look into the emote situation. I kind of want to overhaul them all, like, within the next month or two. Or three. Because it's something I say I'll do, like, every year. And then I've proceeded to not do it. Like, I think I've said it, like, every year since 2019. Like, I'm going to go update these emotes finally. Five years later. <laughs> In all fairness, 2020 was pandemic. <laughs> and most recently, I've been budgeting money just because of uh, medical expenses for various things. Mostly in the dental department, but also just across everything. I still need to go get new glasses, too. But I'm almost done with all, like, super important expenses this year. 
Oh, also, I, I do need to finally go get a new dishwasher, too. I've been meaning to do that, too. Now, do we have another person living here? Uh, we definitely need to go uh, actually get a functioning dishwasher. Because Gash is getting so annoying. <laughs> but, um... Unless we're going to start using paper plates or something. But, um... Yeah, still a few more expenses. But something like emotes shouldn't be that much. Not sure how bad inflation hit them, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're not more than like a few bucks each. Maybe five bucks max each. We need like a dozen. It's like, what, 60 bucks? Plus tax, plus whatever other charges they have. Make the blue heart more crooked. <laughs> I might finally replace the blue heart. <laughs> it might be time. As much as I love annoying Genki with it, uh, I think we should replace it. I'm not even sure if I would replace it with a heart icon. I might just replace it, replace it. That's the problem. I don't really know what to do for a lot of the icons. We don't have too many memes on the channel. <laughs> Other than like the soon TM or something. And just to appease Lester, we might have a subtle 69 emote. It won't be, like, super on the nose. It might even just be the yin and yang sign. But it will be the 69 icon in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> we just have to hide it very well so YouTube's not like, Hey, you can't do that. I'm not sure if they would. But it has to be subtle enough. <laughs> The policy on emotes used to be a lot stricter. I'm not sure what their current policy is, but it, it seems a lot less strict compared to what it was in the past. Because when I first made them all, that was like, what, six, seven years ago? And their policy has changed quite a bit on them since then. Why that? We have that already? Yes, we do have that, but it's not set up in a way that looks as 69-ish. <laughs> also, if you wonder what that ding is near the beginning of every single stream, I have no clue why. And I really should just go update them already. But for whatever reason, I'm not sure if it's a time of day thing, or it's because I have, like, multiple programs open at once. But that ding that we keep hearing near the beginning of every single stream is my, um driver updater being like, you need to go update your drivers. And I find it funny because it keeps happening at the beginning of every single stream. Which I assume it's just a time of day thing. Unless it's like, hey, you have like this many programs open, you should probably go over mine that uh, you need to go update your drivers. Blue heart is the signature emote. <laughs> Invite Isabel to come to the live stream for our anniversary? <laughs> I don't know. If she doesn't mind, I wouldn't mind. I guess we could. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Uh, we've never had Isabel on chat for a Gems of War live stream. Because there's no co-op in this game, so there's not really a time to do it. Speaking of which, I don't think Isabel's here at the moment. She's probably playing Palia. Not to be confused with Pal World. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to bother getting into Palia. There's so many games I want to get around to in the next month that I keep putting off and haven't done a single one yet. I'm even considering uh, this next uh, Power World stream to be the last one I might do for a while. I haven't even told anyone from the group yet. No cookies here. I'm not sure for sure, though. But this next Wednesday Power World stream might be the last one I do for a little while. But we'll see. Oh, it's still submerged. Uh, we'll just take a poke on it. Yes, yeah, so then we can start played up streams, correct. So it's not the end of us streaming together, it's just the end of, uh, Pal World for now. Until they do a billion more updates. But yes, that might mean we start uh, played up this weekend. I'm not sure how many streams I'm gonna do of played up. It really depends how much enjoyment is. But we'll probably start that this Saturday, assuming everyone's available. Instead of doing Power World that day. Is everyone max level in Power World? No. I have been for two streams. But, um, I think the next closest is like level 41 or something. But no, I'm the only max level on the server. In all fairness, everyone else was spending some amount of time building up bases. But also, we were just being really efficient at leveling. <laughs> so between those two factors, um... I was level 50 when the next highest level was like 37 or something. And I actually had less playtime than some of them. Because I sometimes leave it on when I'm away. So I think Cookie and Isabel have had the most playtime on the server. Uh, me the second most and Genki the least, I believe. Or Summer's around there. And no quitting until everyone's at max level. That could take a while. I think Isabel's at like level 31. Did I say hello to everyone else? Hello, Mr. Z. Welcome. <laughs> well, say hello, Maximus. Yes, also, hello, everyone uh, who, uh, that isn't everyone else, but is everyone else who is in chat. <laughs> not the everyone else in chat, but the everyone else who is in chat. I'm not sure how to say that. <laughs> it's so confusing with that name. Hello, everyone who hasn't currently talked in chat. There we go. <laughs> as well as everyone else. <laughs> it feels weird not be able to say everyone else now. Hello, Jamie. Welcome, welcome. It gets so confusing. You don't talk in chat, you type. You know what I mean. Oh, we haven't had a code yet. We should probably go do that. I'll do that once we get our uh, third Valhawk. Are we there yet? Oh, wow. We're only at one. Gosh, these things take forever and a half to get sometimes. 
We've been doing this for like 10 minutes and we found one so far. <laughs> Maybe not 10 minutes, like 8 minutes. It's almost done. I feel like we never go on drop rate for these. We either get them absurdly quick or absurdly slow. Normally absurdly slow. Like, we never really get, like, a 12 to 8. It's always, like, under 10 or over, like, 30. <laughs> or definitely over 20. Someone should rename themselves to Hello. <laughs> hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, we got a double gnome again. Or, you know, gnome with uh, Valhawk. I'm glad it's a thing. It's only particularly relevant during Volt Weekends. It's still nice. Alright, one more to go. I wish they would have coded everything like that. So a lot of them are probably coded in a weird way. The only reason they were able to do it for Valhawk is because he's something completely new. I'm pretty sure they can't code it like that for Val Ravens. They do the spaghetti code associated with it. It's why they have to completely scrap Guild Wars and make it from scratch. Because it's easier to completely trash it than it is to remake it. And honestly, I feel like the same thing is going to happen to Treasure Hunt. If they, It's one of the reasons they've probably been um, delaying the Treasure Hunt rework. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to have to completely rewrite how Treasure Hunt works to fix Treasure Hunt. It's not just going to be a few small tweaks like what Arena was. It's going to be more like how um, Guild Wars is right now. We're just completely overhauling it and nuking it for a new one. All right, what am I doing? Um, what do we still have left? Other than Volt. Oh, yeah, Underspire. Uh, we're at Dead End, right? We did everything? Yeah, we did everything. All right, let's go find some Dead Ends. It's Dead End hunting time. All right, let's take it from the earlier sections where we can kill them very quickly. <clears throat> we have a double path over here, so let's just start here. Unfortunately, we haven't found a merchant yet in this area. Oh, yeah, let me go buy a little bit of Torch. Uh, we're just going to buy 50. Or buy five. Five with 50, I should say. All right, let's see what we can do with 12 torches. How do you trigger a pet rescue? Um, you can do it in PvP. Uh, any PvP-related mode, which in the current state of the game is basically only Arena and um, anything in the PvP menu. Except for Obelisk. But if you just do like any of the normal PvP battles uh, or do Arena, both those two locations have a chance of giving you pet gnomes. You can only have one pet active at a time for your guild, and it stays active for uh, an hour. Oh, so hello, War Chief. Welcome, welcome. Ooh, double dead end already. That's exactly what we're looking for. Nice. Plus, the other side might still be dead end, though. It could also be um, the merchant, unfortunately. But we're still going to check. Might as well. So I should go back to using Essencia now that we can two-shot this area. But oh well. Oh no, I got a Volki! No! <laughs> That's not good. It's Volt Weekend. We don't need more Volkis. Oh, another one for the stack. <laughs> We're at 250 keys now. That's funny. We're already going to hit our objective easily, but it's just kind of funny that we got an extra one on top of it. So our first lot being disease is kind of annoying. Do you have disease on Skull? How do we get disease? Yeah, you do. I was wondering where that came from. I didn't even realize he had disease on Skull. It's gonna slow us down so much. It's such a useless effect that it gets surprisingly high amount of value out of nowhere a lot of time. Level 277 on mobile. Nice. Pretty good progress. Right, let's go take the other path. Might as well. You haven't seen a pet rescue since Wednesday? Oh no! It might just be that a lot of people in your guild just aren't doing PvP. I know I personally don't when I uh, do these events. I always spam explore. Especially in the current state of PvP, even less people are doing PvP than normal. So that's going to lead to less, less pet, pet battles. Which is kind of annoying. But it is understandable. Because no one wants to do PvP right now. <laughs> Though it's still in the works of getting reworked more this year. Including next patch. Very soon, actually. Next patch will be in the next couple weeks. Early May. We don't have an official date, but just generally speaking, sometime early May. 
early mid-May. Oh, it's a normal dead end. Okay, we got six torches left. What can we do with six torch? Is there anywhere that looks like it could double dead end? That's also really early on in a section. Honestly, I think I just take section one. Not only are they quick to kill, but also um, we already have the merchant found here, so it can't possibly be a merchant room. It could still be a normal dead end, but it can't be a merchant. Yeah, joining a good guild early on can help out a lot. Checking the forums or global chat could be a good way to try to find some guilds. Because a lot of your early game resources comes from guilds. Especially if you're not playing too much per day, like only an hour or two or so, or less. Because you get a lot of passive income from guilds. And you do eventually want to find better guilds if you're uh, not, like, super committed to the current guild you're in. That's a little bit later down the line. You normally want to wait till at least, like, level 1000 before you really try finding a, like, super big guild. Because that's when the game really starts picking up. As far as, like, how much progress you need and everything. But you also get a lot more options as you uh, get to that point. Alright, uh, we'll go for a convert. Get our AoE in there. Nice, double dead end. And look at that, exactly two torches remaining. How perfect is that? The worst thing that can happen now is we get torch as a reward. Especially if we get only one torch. Because any torch at this point is useless. I, I already have enough. I mean, not useless, but, um... Like, we could use a double, but not a single. But I'd prefer neither. <laughs> Come on. Okay, an Anu token. I'll take that. Not quite what we're looking for, but far from the worst drop. Yeah, final battle. Can we get anything? Please, just drop the legend already. We're like three months straight without getting one. We need it. We need four of them. Come on. Nah, two diamonds. Disappointment. Unfortunate, but that is under Spire completed. Alright, uh, I believe it is every daily now. Let's go hand out code. Let me double check. Did I finish the PvP daily? I believe I did. Uh, oh wait, I still need more points for ladder though. I'll do that later. I might not even bother with it to be honest. <laughs> it's 20 gold marks. Plus I might still make first even without it. We'll see. But anyways, uh, what am I doing? Okay, I think it's finally time to go do vault. We only need one more palooza to go finish out palooza. Uh, oh yeah, I don't have my timer set up. Let me go do that. One moment. I don't have the 15 minute timer. I can't even find it somehow. There it is. Alright, let it begin. We will ever load. Loading, loading, loading. Loading, loading. There it is. Uh, let's see. Let me go get rid of the other thing. Let me go fix the interface. Now that that's all the way over there. Alright, I think it's time. Let's go run the final Palooza. Counting pity, this should bring us to over 300 Volkies. So this should be the last one we have to do all weekend. And then maybe we go take first place PvP. Because honestly, I kind of want to for 20 gold marks. Alright, let's begin. Oh, I don't think I'm using the right team right now, though. We'll find out in a second. Uh, we are currently using the wrong team. Alright. Oh yeah, code, code, code. Oh wait, my hand is currently numb. One second. I was just sitting on my hand. So now I can't feel my hand. <laughs> One moment. My hand is incapable of copy-pasting. <laughs> Give it like 30 seconds. You must be on the ignore list. <laughs> no worries, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm doing it. Right now. Slowly. I'm using two mice simultaneously. One mouse pad and one actual mouse. Right, we got this. Alright, I have cut the code. I have now pasted the code. Well, I'm about to in a second. Let's see. Uh, it is currently rendering what I'm trying to do. I have now pasted the code. And now I have entered the code. <laughs> the code is now in chat. Date night? Anyone else thinking the same? 
Gosh, I haven't dated in like a decade. I know, dating seems overly convoluted these days. They haven't dated anyone since like 19 or 18. Depending on how you look at it. I can't remember how old I was at the time. It's either 18 or 19. So it's been a good decade since I have. Draco, welcome, welcome. Hello, Tyrion, welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you for pressing the code. Hey, let's go finish out this Palooza at the 13 mark. And it should end us at about 310 volt keys. Give or take a few. And of course, our goal was a pretty standard 300. Once again, a little unlucky on Epic Valkyries. I said hello to you, Tyrion. I just said it when you posted the code. <laughs> I'll say it again. Hello, Tyrion. Unless the stream's on that much delay right now. I just said it like 30 seconds ago. Oh, welcome, welcome. I don't get what joke Supernova's trying to make. I saw it the first time he typed it, I'm just not sure what the reference is. Like with most things. Oh, you fell 30, 60 seconds behind? Oh, yeah, that would explain it. <laughs> oh, it's a movie reference. Yeah, that would explain why I don't get it. Actually, I haven't watched that many movies in, like, the last... Almost decade? Even more so since the pandemic. I think I've gone out to see like one, two movies since the pandemic. Maybe one. I think it was only one. But even just the last decade, I haven't really gone that often. In the last five years, mostly because after the pandemic, um, they closed down the closest movie theater to me. So now it's a lot more of a hassle to ever go to the movies.
as it went from being something like a mile or two away to like 20 miles or something or at least 15 i'm not sure the exact number but the next closest me movie theater is like 10 times further than the previous closest movie theater It was a thing that was a thing before the movie. You got a little over 200 Volkies? Nice, congrats. Yeah, honestly, anything above 100 is pretty solid. I just like doing 300 because it's a nice in-between from going too try-hard and um, not doing enough. <laughs> it's like my perfect in-between, personally. But honestly, anything over 100 is really solid. I mostly go for the 300, so I don't feel like I need to go for a 1,000. <laughs> or even 500. 500 can be difficult sometimes, too. Like, I feel like anything above 300 starts to drag on a little. Oh, it's when you make your uh, hand feel... <laughs> oh, no, my hand just kind of defaults low in the chair sometimes. So I sometimes just accidentally sit on my hand. Same thing happens with my leg, where my leg will lock up for like a minute. Because I sometimes sit like crossed uh, leg. Which most guys tend to not do. <laughs> but whenever you do that, you kind of like cut circulation off from one leg eventually. And then you can't get up for like a minute after you want to go get up. I've done that after some streams we've done. <laughs> Where I'll end the stream and then try to get up and then I still sit for like another minute. Because my leg just cannot physically move. Yeah, I know, Terry, and I get the reference of what you would do after with it. <laughs> You get 40 Volky? Oh, wow. You're hitting a new record. For <laughs> You're really trying to break, beat your uh, highest weekend. Yeah, Izzy hasn't been here this stream. I assume she was playing Pallia, but Cookie's also here. So I'm not sure. Maybe she's just sleeping or busy. Do I ever watch movies through streaming platforms? No. I don't use any streaming platform. Unless you count YouTube as a streaming platform. You know, for watching stuff. Not just for live streaming. <laughs> like we are right now. But no, I have never in my life owned like a Netflix subscription or a Hulu or uh, whatever the other 1000 are. I don't know, watching movies at home isn't quite the same, though. It's definitely not the same experience.
Also, I almost forgot. Our number is over top of the other number, isn't it? Whenever it gets to double digit, it always does that. Because every time I ever, like, uh, do them, it assumes a three digit, a two digit, and a one digit number. Whenever our Nomapaloozas hit double digit number, uh, it actually starts to hit the, um, the other number. <laughs> Oh, you bake two cakes? Nice. What kind of cakes? <laughs> Tyrion. <laughs> Strawberry and fudge chocolate? Ooh, nice. A good sound system with a, a 4K 120 hertz TV. It's pure eye candy. Ooh. What's the difference with hertz on TV? Because I think my computer screen's like a 256 hertz or whatever it is. It's like a 250 something, 252, whatever it is. Like, how high does that go? Though, of course, delay on something like a TV. I don't know, would that even really matter, though? Like, the hertz number? Like, it matters on PCs because, you know, if you're playing a game that requires, like, pinpoint accuracy. Obviously, having a delay of even milliseconds is kind of problematic visually. So you'd want that hertz number to be, like, as high as possible. I'm not sure what range it even is. There's no mine's like a 250-something or whatever, like, that 200 range is. I feel like that would make very little difference on a TV, wouldn't it? Because why would input delay matter on a TV if you still see it all eventually anyways? Like, even if it had a one-second delay... You wouldn't notice a one second delay. <laughs> because as long as everything is one second delayed, there's a zero second delay. Unless you're watching something like literally live. Like as it's happening. But otherwise, um, any delay on a TV is irrelevant. <laughs> Unless you watch like a lot of like live content. Alright, uh, let's go check our, uh, full tally. Uh, let's see. Where is my number? Right, we have 63. So that's before pity, of course. And... What is this? 30... It started at 2, so this is 23. And then, of course, 13 Paloozas. There we go. There's the final tally. And now we go take Pity. Which is currently at 37. Oh, wow. I guess it was going to be around 310, give or take a few. It's 310, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Yeah, there it is. It is exactly 310. I literally just said that earlier. It's going to be 310, give or take a few. But no, it was exactly 310. <laughs> oh, go figure. Oh, there we go. Nice. Anyways, uh, well, we got 16 minutes of an EXP booster to go use. Let's go do some PvP. <laughs> we still got to make first place leaderboard. Or I'm probably going to do this tonight anyway, so might as well do it now. And we still get gnomes while doing this, just not as much as the other method. But, um, plus we might get a pet gnome. Yeah, we need to get 2,500 PvP points. Let it begin. We'll keep going until we get it. And then we'll end on that. I'll still be getting gnomes while doing this. As well as a chance for a pet gnome. Which is probably the most relevant thing. Because I don't think the guild currently has a pet active. Because no one's doing PvP. <laughs>
I forgot we still had a skull objective. I think that's all of our dailies now. I kind of forgot we didn't even do that yet, but there we go. Perfect. Would that have been funny if I would have stopped there and it's like, oh, I never got down to the other uh, thing. It always happens, but there's just like one random one I sometimes don't do one day. And I wonder like, wait, why is there a time gap between this? And it's like, oh, I must have forgotten one objective at the end. And that would have been it. <laughs> it would have been one of those times. Oh, there we go. Oh, hello, Sonny. Welcome, welcome. Hope all's been well. So why is every battle someone keeps living? He doesn't even have barrier. How do he live? Oh, is there still a pet active right now? Wait, what pet is active? Wait. What pet is active right now? I could have sworn there was no pet. Oh, there is. Never mind. Never mind. Well, me getting a pet is irrelevant then. Unfortunate. Never mind. We actually do have one active. Well, still doing PvP. <laughs> we need to go get rank one in our bracket. Yeah, I'm still not sure how I feel about the PvP daily in the current state of the game. Compared to their other game, I still personally don't feel like it's as bad. Their other game was like a mandatory 33 PvP battles a day. Gems of War, uh, on average, it should be 15 battles per day. Plus 5 monolith fights. So 20 battles per day. It's still a lot though. But it's also pretty skippable if you don't care about PvP. The only thing that's really important in the current state of PvP is to make sure you hit 6,500 so you get the 100 gold marks each week. But beyond that, you can basically just ignore the daily if you really want to. Because the benefit you get from it's pretty minuscule. I've personally been going for it because why not? But uh, it is among one of the more skippable dailies in the game. It's just really important that you make sure you get 6,500 at least for the 100 gold marks. Because that's where all the value is. Or at least most of the value. But the reason we've been pushing like this is so few people have been doing a lot of PvP that we can even get an extra 100 gold marks just from doing beer minimum. Is a hamburger or a beef sandwich? Oh, wait, never mind. You were talking about the sandwich of someone. You were cooking a, bur a burger later. But uh, last week you made a delicious chicken fried steak meal. Ooh, nice. Actually, that reminds me. I need to go food shopping soon. I might actually do it tomorrow since I'm already going to be out. I'll add it to the list of things I need to do tomorrow. <laughs> Which just gets increasingly longer. But I'd rather do it all in one day than spread it across like three days. Hello, Rob. Welcome, welcome. I say hello, Defiant. Welcome, welcome as well. As well as Coop Surf, I didn't ever say hi. Welcome, welcome. We have finished the Palooza. Uh, at the moment, we're trying to uh, hit rank one PvP. Not on the leaderboard, but on our bracket. I don't think I'll ever try reaching rank one on current PvP leaderboard. It would make me never want to play PvP again. <laughs> if we played that much on a given week in the current state of the game. I'm pretty sure our leaderboard's at like a million right now or something absurd. Like this week we hit like 23,000. 
All right, we'll have like 27,000 that tree. And leaderboard is half a million. <laughs> That's kind of insane. In all fairness, we didn't do that much PvP this week, but still. Half a million? In the current state of PvP? That's basically like 5 million. <laughs> Relative to what it was before. Yeah, Global Leaderboard still has horrifically bad loot. They haven't updated it. It's been bad loot for like a, almost a decade now. Well, not a whole decade, but like seven years now. The last time they updated it was when they added like ingots and stuff to it. And back then, making first place was actually somewhat relevant because those resources were a little bit sought after for at least for the first few weeks. Until they added Underworld and it completely devalued all of them completely. Because as you guys know, uh, Underworld is absurd for getting legendary and mythic ingots. To such a degree that PvP has basically been dead since then. And the fixes they've done recently haven't fully fixed it. Like from a loot perspective. Nobody here has ever had real baby back ribs. I've had a couple times. Uh, there's actually a... Um, in uh, South Carolina, in Myrtle Beach, there's a... Um, oh, what do you call it? Like a roast-off, cook-off kind of thing? Basically, where there's like this huge like barbecue competition. I'm not sure if they still host it anymore. I know it used to be a yearly thing. But they would have a cook-off thing, and gosh, they would have so many good things like that there. Various types of ribs, meats, other stuff. All smoked and prepped fresh for the competition. Yeah, there's a lot of really good ones. I'm not sure if they still do that. They probably do. I haven't gone to it in, like, several years, though. Good, his Stellarix didn't kill us with 2 HP. Luckily, we had Submerge, so even if he tried, he wouldn't have been able to. That's why we bring the backup Submerge, just in case. Like, you're normally not going to need it, but for the situation where you do, it's going to be so worth it. Oh, there's Bill War Armor with the whole spiel on it. Yeah, I guess they do still do it then. 
Which makes sense. Yeah, I think they've been doing it every year for like a couple decades now. Because I remember even when I was a kid, they were still doing it. Have I upgraded any others to max other than purple? Uh, a couple. Sword's Edge. Um, Zolkari. I think red's only a few away. For Pride Lands. I haven't gotten any second wave kingdom to max yet, though. As in doing a second one for the same color. Uh, purple's the closest, but I think I'm still missing, like, 13 deed books. And I'm likely going to do Karakaroth. Actually, not likely. I literally have to because I think I already pre-upgraded it some. Yeah, we're doing Karakaroth next. It'll be our first, uh, second color Max Kingdom. I still haven't even done the first, first color for some of them. Still waiting on a few more. Oh no, he might actually win. Oh, never mind. He's using Tesla build. We're fine. Tesla's strong, but one big issue she has in the current state of the game is she has to pass her turn in order to cast. And that's a grave mistake when every meta these days is auto win. It's actually kind of sad because the infinite loop meta is starting to power creep so hard that Tesla is almost considered a bad troop now. Not because she's bad, but because you have to end your turn. And ending your turn is very lethal in the current state of the game. <laughs> You're basically just asking to instantly die if you end your turn. <laughs> Lester, no, that's not why she's not here right now. Yeah, let's see, what's our point system at? Oh, we got two minutes of boost left. Probably go use some of that. Uh, okay, three more fights, we're there. Oh, that's perfect, I have exactly enough boost. Wow, that worked out so perfectly to stream. We got every single thing we need to get done within that time frame. <laughs> Like, to the T. Oh, so I'm surprised that's not a catchphrase of me. I don't think I ever say that expression, to the T. But given the name of the channel, it would actually work out quite well. I almost never use that expression, though. <laughs> At some point, we're allowed to have a turn, and when we do, we win instantly. Actually, not so. He has barrier. We'll win immediately after. <laughs> By immediately after, I mean after like a billion more turns of trying to get more mana. There we go. Alright, two more fights, and I think we're there. Maybe three. 
depending on what kind of numbers we get here, like this really small one. Hey, we found a pet gnome. Someone was asking about that earlier. Oh, there we go. It took like 15 minutes of PvP to find one. Normally it takes a lot longer, but their um, their rate is extremely increased during Vault Weekends. Normally you'd get a pet rescue battle there, but we didn't because uh, our guild already has one active. But if there wasn't one active, that'd be a pet rescue activation. Because only one could be active at a time. Right, one more fight and we should be good to go. We'll take the nice, uh, you know, we'll take the harder one. We'll take the uh, old meta uh, Catharix, um, not Catharix, what's his name? Actually, this is a new meta version of it, but it's the Centurion and Zolgoth team that runs Catharix. Interesting mix. Still dies in one shot, though. I actually love seeing those teams these days because they're so weak compared to Infinite Loop, even though the team itself is so absurdly strong. But there we go. We have taken first place by like 100 points. <laughs> but hey, first place is first place. I'd take it. And that puts us at 666 pretty much. 660. As far as the leaderboard is concerned. Not quite a top 100. We haven't tried for top 100 in such a long time. Honestly, top 100 is pretty obtainable though. Like if we really tried, we could do a top 100. I just wouldn't try for first these days. It's just too much. But anyways, guys. Um, I think we'll call it there for now. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. Uh, same time as always, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, one hour prior to now tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we'll go over all the weekly stuff, mess around with that, mess around with raids, all that. Uh, and then Tuesday will be the eight-year anniversary of the channel. So I'll have a ton of fun uh, two nights from now then. Go a little bit longer, use a ton of resources, hand out a ton of codes. Uh, we're also going to have a special code to hand out, one of the old pets. Uh, I think we have one the old International Dog Day. Oh yeah, I didn't hand out a second code. Let me go do that as we end up. I ended out a code earlier, but I haven't sent out a second one tonight, so yeah, might as well. Uh, though I just realized I'm running really low on codes. So I might have to do one tomorrow night and then hand out a billion on Tuesday night. That'll just be slower for next month's codes. <laughs> we actually already have all of next month's codes, oddly enough. But anyways, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, same time as always. One hour prior to now tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Tuesday will be our eight-year uh, uh, eight anniversary of the channel. And we'll have a big celebration for that. But anyways, guys, uh, have a wonderful week. We'll catch you guys later. And we'll have the weekly video up as soon as we can. Hopefully this morning, because if I don't have it up this morning, it'll be up on Tuesday. <laughs> so hopefully I'll get it up tomorrow morning. Because otherwise the earliest it'll be is like Monday night into Tuesday morning. But hopefully I'll have it up uh, tonight for uh, re uh, reset time. Or not, not literally reset time, but you know, soon after reset time. Anyways, guys, goodbye everyone. Thanks for watching.